Hey everybody, it's Durger time. Thank you for joining me again for another episode of Total Extreme Wrestling 2016, Billy Corgan's NWA. We had some tragic stuff happen in the last episode. Holy crap. Um, as we know, unfortunately, our champion is injured and he will be out for long ass time. Uh, that puts a lot of freaking things on hold. That's really like the worst case scenario. I will worst case scenario is he died, but I guess. But man, this really sucks. So we're gonna have to change some stuff, gonna figure out what we're gonna have to do. And um what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to set up a tournament. Oh, you guys know I love tournaments. So we're gonna set up a tournament for the NWA World's Heavyweight Championship. Uh we're gonna do a big old one and we're gonna see who can win it. And we're going to have to announce it and set it up soon. So let's um, go ahead and let's take a look at what we got going on in our contracts first. And, of course, Will Ospreay wants more money. Um, that's a lot of money you want. Shit. Mm. I'm going to make him annoyed. I'm going to make him annoyed for now. But I'm going to give him um, here. Will Ospreay, you're annoyed at me. I'm going to give you a bonus. So I can't give you that money per show. But here, have a $5,000 bonus. Now you're happy. There we go. That'll shut him up for now. <laughs> I do not want to give him that much money over the long term. So it was a short term now to uh, make up for it later. Okay. We got to deal with this stuff. So... Uh, we we'll have to see if, if Cody can even be available for angles. I don't even know if he can. Um, but this, this is definitely going to be a problem. Uh, I'm not looking forward to it. Let's go ahead and uh, advance to the next show and see what's going on. We got stopped here. Let's find out what the hell's going on. Ooh. So, Wolfgang sends his deal to NXT. Trent has quit PWG. And we need to get another contract going for Chris Daniels. Let's renegotiate. My dude. Um, I can give you like a 50% pay raise. That's fine. All right, let's go ahead and start continuing the advance here. So we got our December guys. We moved up to the 5th in Great Lakes, which is awesome. Fifth in Midwest, fifth in... Yeah, awesome. That is moving up. Um, so we're basically fifth in all those regions, which... Oh, God, no. Tyler Bates injured. Where'd you get injured at? How long are you going to be out? Two months! Jesus. What is going on? Like, seriously, what is going on here? Um, okay, so well, a lot of people just got injured. We're going to have to go ahead and move on to Championship Wrestling. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. All right, let's, let's get this going. Jesus. Couldn't ask for anything worse. 79% uh, locker room rating. We've moved down. A little bit. Um, people are still happy about Manifest Destiny Championship Wrestling. And I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. Look at all these injuries. Jeez. Uh, um, Rhodes is available for angles, which is good. Um, so far, actually, all of them are available for angles, which is good. God. I don't even know what to do. All right, let's let's build up some relationships, maybe. Here, how about that? Nothing. Okay. Well, we are gonna have to book this, and uh, we're gonna have to figure out what we're gonna do with uh, all these people. Um, I mean, luckily Tyler Bate, we had a road for redemption, but um, he's definitely not gonna be in the running for the belt anytime soon. 
And uh, Chris Daniels is out. That's not good. And Cody, God, what are we going to do here? All right. We're going to have to figure it out. Let's go and book this show. We'll be back. All right, guys, we are back. And we are here with Championship Wrestling. A lot of matches going on. I'm going to be probably broke really soon uh, because we have to do a tournament. And uh, we started off tonight. So let's go ahead and go on with the show. So we start off the match, start off the show exactly how we expect, um, and the crowd hates it. I mean, they love it, but they hate it. Uh, Cody, with his detached retina and a eye patch over his eye, comes out and says, "Unfortunately, he has to vacate the title. He will not be back for enough in enough time to be able to defend his title, and he needs to vacate it." The crowd boos, but they understand. Um, you know, it's, it's it's unfortunate. He takes the title, hands it to Brandy. Brandy hands it to the announcers. And he says, like a Guinea Gun Rhodes boy, he knows that sometimes the comeback is all is what it's all about. And he promises he will be back. He will take back his title. But for now, the other competitors in the NWA have the opportunity to grasp the 10 pounds of gold. And there will be a ch- tournament with 16 competitors that will all have the chance to compete for the title. The winner of the tournament will receive the NWA title. So, that got a great rating, got the crowd hotter, and of course we do announce that there is the NWA World Championship Tournament. So, who are the competitors and where are they? Let's take a look. So, we have 16 competitors, and we have a total of 8 blocks on two sides wrestling. And tonight, all 8 blocks will wrestle to move on to the round twos. So we have, up tonight, Nick Aldis versus Tim Storm. Best friends united, now fighting against each other, Chuck Taylor and Trent Beretta. Hangman Page and Brian Pillman Jr. Zack Ryder and P versus PJ Black. Will Ospreay versus Jimmy Jacobs. Sammy Callahan versus Flip Gordon. Dustin Rhodes versus Bull James. And Tamatanga versus Dalton Castle. All 16 competitors at it tonight. And we start off. With Battle of uh, let's call them Battle of the Young Bucks, Hangman Page versus Brian Pillman, and some interesting things about this tournament is there are several champions currently in the running, so it's very possible that you actually could have a situation where someone has two titles in the NWA World's Heavyweight Championship. Um, very interesting because we have uh, Tamatanga is the tag team champion, or one half of. Brian Pillman's the North American. Will Ospreay is the junior. Uh, so there's definitely a possibility that someone uh, could end up walking away with both titles, which is fascinating. But let's start it off. Brian Pillman versus Hangman Page. Um, and Brian Pillman takes the better of Hangman Page and moves on in the tournament. He gets a quick roll-up. Um... They were really hot. This was a work to crowd match. Uh, they both do pretty well. They're actually both pretty even in uh, in ring performance as well. Hangman Page just slightly better, but has just slightly more experience. Uh, not bad. And also, we get some um, building tension here. Oops. So restart that to do do.
And with that brewing tension, uh, things get a little bad, where uh, ends up that after Brian Pillman moves on, uh, Hangman Page takes kind of umbrage to uh, being eliminated and actually brutally attacks Brian, uh, Pillman while he gets his hand raised, uh, jumps him from behind, beats him down, and uh, and and really kind of gives him a wallop. Uh, so while Pillman is in the running, well, actually, also, uh, Page ends up really brutalizing him, um, maybe even a uh, getting his arm in between the uh, the posts, kind of really working on his right arm a lot, and then leaves him on the ground beat up. Uh, Pillman wins wins the next the first round, but certainly uh, possibly have lost a war with after a brutalization by Hangman Page. Um, crowd loved it. Holy crap. C minus. Very, did very well there. Now we move on to Tamatanga versus Dalton Castle in the first rounds of the tournament. Uh, Tamatanga's first real singles venture. He's been mostly in the tag division. Um, here to show what he's got. Um, and he ends up defeating Dalton Castle in 11 minutes with a Tongan twist and a pinfall victory. Uh, D plus, not bad. Um, Dalton Castle, kind of the weak link in the group. The crowd liked it, but Dalton Castle also received a hand contusion. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. Uh, this should be something he could work through, I believe. And of course, Tomatonga moves on from the first round. And next up in the tournament, as we're just going blitzing through this tournament to decide a new champion, Sammy Callahan versus Flip Gordon in a pretty good match, actually. C rating. We have Flip Gordon defeating Sammy Callahan with a shooting star press in nine minutes. It's a brutal match. Um, Flip is definitely the weaker in-ring performer. Sammy definitely carried it, um, but kind of managed to uh, you know, sneak a win out of there from Sammy, and uh, ends up moving on to round two of the tournament. And in an interesting match, Chuck Taylor versus Trent Beretta. Man, these actually, these matchups have been rated pretty high for us. It's been pretty good. Uh, you know, best friends versus best friend. And Chuck Taylor ultimately defeats Trent Beretta, uh, giving him some soul food and taking a pin. They're both very evenly matched. No real improvements. Um, but the best friends had to fight each other, and ultimately Chuck got the better. Um, but they didn't leave that they didn't leave that to for them to end up being upset. Uh, after the match, they stared at each other at the, in the ring and gave ourselves a big best friends hug. Uh, Chuck Taylor and Trent and Breda are fine, and they are still friends. I know everyone was very concerned. <laughs> but uh, the best friends are still best friends. The tournament didn't change anything. It actually got D plus. Kind of expected I'd get a little bit better, but that's fine. So Chuck Taylor moving on from the first round to the second. Uh, as an intermission, we have Tyler Bates coming out, and Tyler Bates comes out and talks about his injury. Says unfortunately he will be out for a little bit, and that his road to redemption has reached a detour that his injury will prohibit him from actually competing and he will spend the remaining time getting stronger training lifting weights trying to get better trying to study and he will do everything when he does come back to continue his road and he promises that he will make it back to a point where he feels confident that he can face will osprey defeat him and reclaim the junior heavyweight title. Um, so, you know, the crowd liked it. Um, fortunately, Tyler Bates is going to be unable to wrestle for a little bit. Not too long. Not as much as Cody. But for a little bit, he's going to be having a bit of a bit of a road bump there. A little speed bump. Uh, we have a match now with uh, first round Zack Ryder versus PJ Black. Uh, doesn't do great D+. Plus. Neither of them have fantastic performance skills, unfortunately. Um, but ultimately, Zack Ryder defeats PJ Black in 13 minutes of the pinfall with a Rough Rider and moves on to round two of the tournament. 
And then we have Nick Aldis versus Tim Storm, which actually Nick Aldis pulls a pretty good, pretty damn good match out of Tim Storm. Um, just like old times, I suppose you could say, Nick Aldis defeats Tim Storm by a submission, um, showing that he's still the dominant one of that relationship of NWA of old. Um, and of course, Nick Aldis moves on to the second rounds. And Nick Aldis probably of the list here, one of the favorites to win the tournament. Um, if I were to take a look at this, I would certainly say that uh, he's got all the workings to uh, to make it all the way. And previously was a NWA World's Championship and has been hungry and, and uh, to uh, reclaim that for quite a bit of time. Be very obvious for him to attempt to reclaim it and be pushing very hard for it. C rating, fantastic, uh, especially with a with Tim Storm kind of lacking in in-ring performance. And then we have Will Ospreay versus Jimmy Jacobs. With, uh, for Will Ospreay versus Jimmy Jacobs in the first round, uh, got the crowd buzzing. Uh, Ospreay looked great out there. Jimmy Jacobs was fine. Uh, 84 rating for Will Ospreay, doing fantastic work, uh, carrying along Jimmy Jacobs in the match. I get a pretty damn good rating of 70 plus for a C plus 70. Uh, can't ask for much more than that. And of course, Jimmy actually uh, improved a little bit with being with Osprey. And Osprey moves on to round two of the tournament. Also, I would say another one of the uh, the the favorites of the tournament. Uh, Osprey's been on fire lately, and of course, he is the junior heavyweight champion. Uh, there is no weight division for the world's champion, but there is one for the junior heavyweight. So it's very possible that Will Ospreay could be both the world's heavyweight as well as the junior heavyweight champion. And then we have a quick little introduction as Cody Rhodes' music hits and he enters uh, from the ring or from the, uh, from the ramp and he comes down to join the announce table for the next match. And of course, that match is his brother, Dustin Rhodes, versus Bull James. And, uh, you know, Cody wanted to be out there to commentate for his brother uh, and was definitely hyping him up as he fought. And uh, in a decent match, Dustin Rose defeated Bull James in 10 minutes with a lifting reverse DDT. Gets a C-, minus, which is not bad for dragging a match out of Bull James, I think. Uh, Dustin Rhodes has a 61. Bull James has a 39. And uh, no improvements, but not too bad. Dustin Rhodes moves on to the second round. Also probably a favorite, if not maybe at least a dark horse candidate uh, to go all the way. Uh, the Rhodes family always has the lineage of the NWA, and certainly that's on Dustin Rhodes' mind to take his father's belt um, and to hold up a Rhodes lineage for the belt while Cody is injured. And that ends championship wrestling with the first rounds over. Um, so we certainly have a lot of interesting second round action for you all. Um, that should be pretty cool. Uh, it looks like in the lineup for next show, we have Nick Aldis versus Chuck Taylor. We have Brian Pillman versus Zack Ryder. We have Will Ospreay versus Flip Gordon. And we have Dustin Rhodes versus Tama Tonga. Um, and we're going to get through this tournament and we will very quickly see a new NWA World Championship uh, holder. It's very unfortunate that... Um, that Cody lost the belt, but maybe we'll do the best with it. Um, we do have some people here that can hold up the, the lineage. Uh, who do you guys think is going to take it at this point? I mean, there's, there's some good, there's some damn good names in there, I think. Uh, definitely a lot of people that are contenders. I know a huge contingency of you guys are huge uh, Brian Pillman Jr. fans. Um, thought he was going to go all the way for the Super Cup. He got very damn close, but Flip took it. So maybe is it Flip's chance? Flip already had a championship match before. Um, 
Of course, maybe it's Pillman's time that he has the NWA North American belt. Maybe he has a little bit more uh, experience, a little bit more confidence. Uh, but, you know, and there's certainly a lot of other names in the, the running that could totally sneak out of there and um, do some some really big damage. I mean, Zack Ryder is, is thirsty to prove what he has, uh, that he has what it takes. It's very interesting to see what happens. Anyways, guys... Um, that looks like that was championship wrestling. Let's go ahead and give some encouragement to everybody. Nobody was upset. Everyone did fantastic. I, there's nothing bad to say about any of the people that wrestled today. Other than just telling them that they are awesome. Be very good to all the people. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. Uh, we do know Dalton's a little bit of injury. Has a little bit of an injury. That hand contusion shouldn't be that big of a deal. Um, yeah, just a hand contusion. I don't. I think he's working through it. He should be fine. We'll make sure to keep him keep him okay. Uh, Trent's also feeling a little grueling, so we'll have to be a little bit nice to him. And Candace has left shine. Uh, Chuck Taylor apparently does not like uh, Brian Pillman, and uh, Cody Rhodes does not like Bull James. So we'll have to keep a lookout for that. Otherwise, ticket sales are pretty strong. Pay-per-view pay sales are, eh. Still think we should probably get some TV revenue. I think we're just going to have to do it at some point. Um, yeah, so we're moving up. I mean, certainly... Let's, let's take a look at our creative meeting first. Just before we take a look at what's going on. Uh, so this is our, our unfortunate problem right now. Is Our franchise players, three of the five are injured. That is a huge problem. Next big things, though, Ashley Vox, we really have to start pushing, um, and Brian Pillman, and I think uh, Brian Pillman we're going to have a lot of momentum with going forward. Uh, our talkers mostly taken out, too. And our showstoppers, so we have a lot of problems where our top talent are kind of uh, kind of getting a lot, of, a lot of injuries. Christopher Daniels is injured for a little bit as well. It's tough. It's tough. Um, really running into some situations where we're, we're, our, our top talent are all injured. is uh, That's a rough situation to have to deal with. Um, I think we got a good plan, though. I think we can move on from it. I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. Though our momentum took a huge hit. What the hell happened? Why is our momentum so low? What is going on? And why are we dipping so low? We're going to have to take a look at that and figure out what's going on there. Anyways, that is it for today. Um, we will see you again next week for round two of our tournament. And uh, hopefully uh, hopefully we can get this momentum changed. Uh, I don't know, man. It's not going in the right direction right now. It seems like every time we get started, we get another injury. Uh, it seems like the NWA is just freaking injury prone. Anyways, guys, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for watching. I will see you around.